it's Pinkmon and welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge. Really quick before we jump in to the gameplay today, my subscriber Erin had mentioned she was curious how her family that she submitted to me, the Ortega family, turned out. When she created this family for me, it was just um, the husband and wife and their son Raphael, who you guys know from the Not So Berry series. And he was just a little kid and Phoebe, I think, was pregnant at the time. Well, they ended up having three other kids and I did makeovers on them just cause, why not? I didn't go into their household or anything to see the ages of the kids, so I'm not sure if she was pregnant with triplets, twins, or whatever, but they have three other kids. So they have Alondra Ortega, and you know what's really cool about this? For some reason, um, they ended up getting names that like really worked with their last name, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know why, but like all their names ended up just working. Like Alondra Ortega, I didn't make these names, they were randomized. And then Manuel Ortega, and then Chanel Ortega. And I think they're all really freaking cute and I can't wait for them to go off and like <laughs> produce a bunch of genetically pleasing townies for my future sims to get with. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys an update, mostly Erin because she's made me so many great sims that I wanted to just let her know how her Ortega family ended up in this save file. Yeah, um, Alondra's actually hot-headed and evil and wants to be a mansion baron, so I think she's just like a gold digger in the making. Uh, Manuel, he's actually nice. He wants to be like an amazing dad. And then Chanel is just like super creative. So picking up where we left off, I actually have, um, oh, looks like uh, Mochi is turning into an elder. Um, okay. <laughs> But I actually have asked her asking Harlow out on a date because she finished knitting. Wait, what? Did she get denied? Oh, I think she just got interrupted because of Mochi, but she ended up finishing knitting the little panda beanie. So she's planning to actually ask her on a date, give her this gift and ask her to be her girlfriend today. Let's retry this because that was a fail. I might change up her room a little bit or the house in general because even though I deleted all my build by um, custom content recently, I kind of went in and got more because <laughs> I don't think that is what was causing my game to crash. I tried doing an origin cache um, clearing, which I didn't even know was a thing. Uh, so we'll see if that was the issue. Ask on date. You can't do this while Mochi's aging up. Mochi's already aged up, so let me reset Mochi, I guess. I also got some more social interaction mods that I think are really cool by this um, modder that I've never heard of before called Helene. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we'll definitely have to see some of those because they're just really cool and creative. Like, um, one of the mods I got from her was called Emotion emotional socials and it's like you can do different things based on your sims emotion at the time um what restaurants do we have good fellas lucky corner <laughs> named after my favorite chinese restaurant from my hometown i named it that but it's from the gallery uh you could get mexican food let's just go to this italian restaurant i don't know if we've been here i think i want to get this little balcony seat right here because the weather is decent out it's like partly cloudy oh look at how nice harlow just got dressed up we're gonna get um they don't have like alcohol here which is surprising because i feel like they should have wine at an italian restaurant but it's okay <laughs> um maybe they can just get like this Maybe these little fruity drinks are also alcohol. So we'll just grab that for Aster and Sour Punch for Harlow. I'm not actually sure if this is supposed to be an Italian restaurant because not all of this is very Italian, but <laughs> whatever. Um, let's do like roast chicken for Harlow and steak for um, Aster. We have to have some deep conversations. Oh, look how Harlow's looking at her. So our order is finally in. Let's go in and... So this is one of the mods I was talking about. Compliment. We can 
praise her loyalty. Let's compliment her appearance. Um, I think it's actually a friendly version. I just want to see how it works. <laughs> I know um, one of the mods did add a friendly version of compliment appearance. Um, let's go and do the other deep conversation. Harlow's in a really flirty mood, so we should probably flirt with her a little bit. We'll blow a kiss. And what else? Um, we're not having an affair, so ignore that. <laughs> they're not even in a relationship. But they're look at their relationship bar. It's like fully up. So it makes sense that she would definitely ask to be official today. And when she does, she's going to have to um, end her friends with benefits arrangements with Raphael and Reese. Um, let's make future plans. Let's share some deeply personal thoughts with her. Should we just give her the gift now? I mean, the food's not even here yet, so I guess. Give a romantic gift. This little panda beanie. Oh, here's our food. This is cute. <laughs> Gotta take screenshots. <laughs> Hopefully she likes it. That would be really awkward if she didn't. Oh, she does like it. Yay. Okay. So let's sit together. Um, hopefully they'll just start eating their food. Okay. Our date is already gold. So that's good. At this point, I'm just going to let them eat real quick um, and stop chatting. So it'll go by quicker. And then once they're done eating, hey, restaurants have been very glitchy for me lately. It's like when if they finish their drink, they'll just stop eating. <laughs> All right. So we're done. She didn't finish her food, but that's okay. Let's end the meal. And then maybe they can take a little walk and she can ask her to be- Ooh, there's, there's woohoo bushes over there. We can take a little walk and ask her to be our girlfriend. Where should we go? We'll use our imagination and pretend they're actually walking together instead of at different paces. <laughs> um, I really wish they would add that as an actual interaction to like walk like take a walk together especially like holding hands how cute would that be all right speed it up aster i get that you're trying to walk cute but <laughs> we gotta be faster than this all right so we're gonna go in and just ask her to be our girlfriend of course she said yes oh so we can go into happy and express joy from this mod that i was talking about what else Let's profess our undying love. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting really dark. And let's do a suave kiss. And probably an intense kiss as well. Aw. <laughs> oh, the date's over. Okay, I guess we didn't get to do the intense kiss, but that's okay. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna send her home. Alright, Aster's home and she is just gonna clean herself up. And then she is going to invite over the boys to kind of break off their entanglements they have going on because she's really serious about trying to commit. Um, let's see what kind of mood lit she has. So she has new partner, uh, spread in sunshine, a refreshing drink. Basically, she's just all around super happy and I think that's cute. I'll probably have her um, write in her journal before she invites the guys over just to write like about um asking harlow to be a girlfriend and all that i think she kind of likes to write down all her important moments in this journal plus it helps with her writing skill okay so let's do this first we're gonna write in the journal and we'll start with reese because honestly their relationship is less um, intense than the one with Raphael because I think Reese really does just like Aster as a friend with benefits but in Raphael's case I think he actually has real feelings for her so it'll be a little harder in his case oh no it's getting late so we're probably actually gonna have to do this in the morning that's fine so she's probably writing about like um, how the date went how she 
asked um, Harlow to be her girlfriend and how happy she is, blah, blah, blah. She's probably writing down her fears to like, I'm gonna try really hard, but I'm scared that I'm gonna mess it up because of my fear of commitment. Yeah, look, she's crying because she's worried about it. And I think she also is gonna write about like how she's about to break off her, what is this? Is this romantic music? Oh, Baroque. <laughs> That's really random for her to put on. Um, but yeah, basically she's gonna write like her plans for breaking off her relationships tomorrow with the guys. Okay, and I am gonna let her just go to bed now. Oh, we can't sleep because apparently the neighbors are being loud. I wanna have June go and knock on the door, <laughs> pound on the door. She would knock politely, but like at this point, the neighbors have been pretty loud several times and she's probably over it. I mean, to be fair, we've also had really loud parties and stuff since we moved in, but still, I don't really care about these aliens. So since she can't sleep right now, I'm gonna let her relive the memories in her journal because I don't know what this interaction looks like and it's probably cute. Just waiting for June to handle this. Aw, look at her. <laughs> this is kind of a cute interaction. I wonder if she gets a mood lit from that. She's putting on metal music. <laughs> All right, so she actually did get a mood lit and it says times of inspiration. Aster almost forgot that amazing idea she wrote down in her journal. Wow, there's so many great ideas in there. <laughs> it is Monday, so I'm assuming we're gonna have work. I'm gonna get Aster ready for that. I'll probably kind of skip through it like I do a lot of the times with the active career. I'll just show you if anything major happens there or anything funny. And then after work, she is definitely going to invite Reese over and just kind of like tell him about her new relationship and everything. I'm sure he'll actually be happy for her. She's already in a focused mood, but I'm gonna have her go ponder some chess moves just to get her extra focused. Cause I think focused is the ideal mood for her job. Yeah. Aw, Tyrion's congratulating her on her new relationship. So I'm at work with her and she actually just got this work emergency, the same one we failed to do last time. Now I know it has a time limit, so I'll definitely be doing that um, right now after we put this kid back on his little exam bed. Uh, so we have to record emergency analysis data. I'm just gonna finish this, um, this kid up first because I'm kind of confused on how we're supposed to do this. Um, cause I don't see the option that it's talking about. It says, at a work computer, enter the results from the chemical analysis of the delivered samples to better prepare for future outbreaks. How the hell do we do that? <laughs> I don't see research health reports on medical, that's not it. Oh my God, I found it. So right here it says get samples for analysis. They should really be more specific with that because that was like a total lucky guess that I found that. Okay, so now that we have that, we can um, log sample analysis. Not that one. With the confidential tissue samples obtained, Aster now needs to test them at the chemical analyzer and document her findings to better prepare against a future outbreak. Okay, um, I guess we'll do that. <laughs> Ooh, she she just reached logic level six. Okay, was that was that it? Or do we have to do all of them? Oh yeah, we have to do all of them. And then it says patient confidential. It must be somebody famous or <laughs> rich who wants their identity um, to be unknown. Maybe they have an STD or something. <laughs> uh, maybe it's Nancy Landgrab and she has crabs or something. All right, and then we're gonna do the last one. All right, yay, now record emergency analysis data is available. If you ever got stuck on that, I guess that's how you do it. <laughs> it's not very specific, but Hey, we figured it out eventually. Okay, yay, we finished that. And now I'm gonna finally let her go to the bathroom and then hopefully diagnose this poor kid. <laughs> what was that? Did um, June get promoted? Yay, she's a full on teacher now, not just a, a substitute. Okay, um, guaranteed diagnosis, no illness. This kid was faking it. <laughs> she spent most of her work day on him and he didn't even have an illness. <laughs> wow. Okay, next kid, Jenny Rico. Let's come and swab her. <laughs> the way she's dancing. She's happy she actually completed the work emergency. This dude is literally always chatting with her when she's freaking examining patients. Go away. He's like obsessed with her. 
Okay, well, we didn't get to finish that, but she got promoted. Yay! She's now an assistant nurse. Um, cool. Ooh, she's got a new little outfit. I'm gonna have to, um, change her career. What the heck is this? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to change her career outfit eventually, but... Because I don't like that her scrubs don't match. Kind of bugs me. I think since her and June got promoted today, um... I actually want them to celebrate with some wine. So I'm gonna have Aster make them both a drink real quick. Oh my God, their work outfits are a mess, but I'm gonna have them drink this. And I think if they're both um, drinking wine at the same time, I can have them do a toast or something. Oh my God, June is stressed though. I guess they can't really do a toast. I could have sworn that was a thing, but I'm not seeing it as an option. So instead we're just gonna tell about promotion. Um, what else? Oh, we can make a toast. Oh my God, there it is. She drank her drink so fast. <laughs> so that's why I don't think it worked, but it's fine. She just downed that thing, probably because she's stressed. All right, so they're toasting. Oh, Harlow wants to go on a date. Harlow, uh, like I really want to. Oh, she wants to go back to the same restaurant. That's cute. Um, sorry, but I got stuff I gotta do. Ah, cuties. All right, so let's have them actually get out of these hideous outfits and then let's invite over the dudes. And also, Aaron left a really good suggestion in one of the recent episodes in the comments. Um, she suggested that maybe June could be set up with Reese to date. And I think that's a really good idea. So <laughs> we are gonna actually invite him over and then um, break off the friends with benefits thing and then try to actually get him with June. Is it a little weird that her cousin would date a guy that she wooed with? I mean, kind of, but like, honestly, I don't think she cares because <laughs> there was no like real feelings there. So it's not that weird. Oh, her mom is here. This alien needs to calm down. <laughs> oh my god. All right, Reese is here. So let's just say hi to Melanie real quick. Um, maybe we could like tell about her promotion or whatever. Oh my god, chill out. That alien needs to shut up. Oh, Melanie's trying to tell that alien to shut up. Good, thanks. So let's quickly come over and just end this thing. Friends with benefits, um, where is it? Terminate relationship. Hopefully he's not mad about it. Um, okay, let's see. It looks like it hurt the relationship a little bit, but not that bad. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and we are going to talk up um june and then after we talk them both up to each other we'll do the hook up with thing i want them to at least meet first so that chances are higher of it working but june you gotta change out of this hideous outfit because you're trying to look cute for him <laughs> okay wow i'd love to get to know her i'm sure you would reese <laughs> Aw, she's like, she's like, wow, thanks, Esther, he's cute. What the heck are you doing? Why are you going up and down the stairs 15 times? <laughs> but the way that she was just like, it looked like she was approving of him, you know? She was like, yeah, he's definitely cute. <laughs> Aw, okay, and now let me talk him up to her, just because I'm trying to raise the relationship as much as possible before doing the hookup thing. So for some reason, it... Ew, she just stepped in rainbow crap. Why is there so much rainbow crap? What the heck? But um, there was no option for me to talk him up to her. So I tried to do the hookup thing. I don't know if it's gonna work. Maybe she can only do one, one other Sims interaction at a time or something? Um, no, okay. June sounds like a catch. I'll introduce myself when I see her. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I mean, June's in our household, so we could literally control her, but <laughs> I just kind of want to see how this works. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> She's thinking about woohooing him. Okay, let me see. 
it says reese just became the boyfriend of june so that was fast um <laughs> thanks for setting us up june and i are going out well that's fine they moved on really quickly but we'll pretend they're just like in the beginning stages of relationship you know because that was like super fast but we can at least have them i don't know not have a first kiss because again that's super fast but they can flirt a little bit <laughs> And one other thing I wanted to do was actually adopt a puppy because the cats are getting really old and I feel like Aster would have a puppy and a kitty, so. Um, one thing that I'm having a glitch with and I've tried so many things to fix, for some reason the hire a service is just not showing up for me at all from the phone, so <laughs> that's a thing. I'm gonna have her pay the bills from her phone real quick. Um, I have to use the computer to get the services there's literally rainbow crap everywhere is that because one of the cats are sick like what is causing that oh my god mochi really oh before i forget though we gotta invite Raphael over and break off the thing with him too and reese was pretty much fine with it um especially since we set him up with our cousin right after but i think Raphael is gonna be sad about it even if he doesn't show it like literally in the game we're gonna use our imagination and pretend he's sad about it let's come invite him in okay so we're, we're gonna go and terminate the relationship and i also want to uh is there like <gasps> was he was he upset no it was the same um it was basically the same but I think their relationship went down more than with Reese. Like, they're, they're friendly even took a hit. Um, smooth apology. Just like, sorry. I can't help it. I just... I really got feelings for her. I still want to be your friend. We're going to say I love you in a friendly way. She's going to be like, I love you as a friend. Which is going to obviously hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt. It's going to sting. It's going to be bittersweet. Um, I love you too, he said. Yeah, but he means it in a different way. Um, I swear there was a way for her to like talk about her new relationship, but I'm not seeing that for some reason. Okay, the closest we can get is tell about love life, so that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if my mod for like the memories thing is broken, because there used to be a thing that would say like Aster's memories. But you know what? That might be slice of life, and I had to take that out because it needs to be updated. That's probably why. All right, so we're gonna actually send everyone home. Sounds like the neighbors are having a, a woohoo session. <laughs> but let me come and send everybody home, and then adopt a puppy. <laughs> Forced to leave everyone. Oh, Reese was already on his way out, and so was oh they all were. Let's come and knock politely. She's in a good mood. She doesn't need to come pound on the door. <laughs> Um, she has some mood lids. Um, so long. She's feeling fine from ben from terminating friends with benefits. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. <laughs> She's going to eat some of this grilled cheese. And let's have June go on and adopt this dog real quick on the computer. She wants to kiss Reese. Aww. All right. So I definitely want to get a puppy. I'm not sure. There's really no, like... Usually I try to get dogs that kind of match the theme of the generation or pets that match the theme. And plum is like obviously a color that's not really found in animals. Like there's no purple dogs. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a purple dog. I got lilac, she was almost like that purplish gray colored cat. But for the dog, honestly, like it doesn't really matter the color or anything. So we have a Shih Tzu named Doris. <laughs> We have Noodle, a German Spitz, Apollo, a Pomeranian. I do like Pomeranians. Bubbles, a Dingo. A Dingo? What? Um, Harley, a Schnauzer, and Pumpkin, a Kerry Blue a Terrier. Um, I don't want to get an adult dog, no offense to these dogs, but I definitely feel like she's a small dog person, like small dogs and cats. <laughs> So I'm thinking between, I don't, I don't know how big a German Spitz is, but I'm pretty sure it's small. But I'm thinking between like this Pomeranian and this Shih Tzu. I think I'm going to get Doris. <laughs> the name is hilarious. I'm going to change it, obviously, but don't know how thrilled the cats will be about it. Oh, look at her. All right, let's 
go here, do a friendly introduction to her. As long as she doesn't have an aggressive trait, I'm gonna get her. Even if she does, I might get her because <laughs> I've never played with an aggressive dog. It might be funny. Okay, let's see. Is she gonna like you? Okay, good. So we're acquaintances. Let's go ahead and just learn her traits real quick. She's jumpy. Um, vocal. Oh god. <laughs> that one can be annoying, but it's okay. Was that, um, does she only have two traits or something? And friendly. Okay, perfect. So we are gonna adopt her. And I'll have to pick up some dog stuff in, or before the next part. Yes, we're gonna adopt her. What should I name her? Um, we have Lilac the cat and we'll have Lavender the dog. Cute. Let me take a picture. Aww. And this is, um, like, this is not June's dog. This is gonna be Aster's dog. So whenever, um, these two split up their household, we're definitely taking the dog with us. <laughs> Is she already regretting getting the dog because it started barking and she was holding her head like her head hurt already? She's like a little poof ball. All right. Well, that's cool. But I think it's time to wrap the part up here. Um, so I'm going to get these guys in bed. I, I'm recording this the day that I'm going to put it out. I've been on an Eevee Legacy recording spree. I recorded like five Eevee Legacy videos in a row when I really should have come on and done some not so berry. So <laughs> I have like a few um, Eevee Legacies just like waiting to be edited and then I realized, oh crap, I didn't even make my not so berry video for today. So I gotta quickly go and edit this. It's supposed to come out in an hour. So hopefully I have time to edit this and upload it within the next hour. If not, it might be a little late, but I mean, I'm doing six videos a week. That's pretty impressive in my opinion. So. It's fine, but yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments about like our new relationship um, and about the new puppy. Also, what do you think? Oh my God, stop going to triple speed. <laughs> what do you think Raphael is thinking right now? Do you think he's gonna go get a new relationship or do you think he's gonna like hold out and wait for Aster? Maybe he'll try to like confess his feelings to her or something like that. We will see. Well, you will see, I already have a plan, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope i'll see you next time bye